what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel i'm deja oh. I haven't done this in forever and I will be making a video about why. That's for sure gonna be my next video. Just of why I've been like gone for like a month and that's like a year YouTube time. Um, sorry if my car is loud, it's hot as hell, but I did wanna just film this video, um, you know, while I'm out running errands and stuff like that. Had my camera, might as well set y'all up. I've told you guys to ask me the questions that I normally don't acknowledge or, you know, just a lot of things that I don't, give my energy to or respond to when people ask me certain things. I typically get the same questions all the time and it's mostly the ones that I don't acknowledge. So let me just acknowledge them so you guys can stop asking me. <laughs> Starting with the first one. When are you giving us another baby? I never want to be the one to have different um, fathers for my children um, just because I was raised in a household like that. I always just wanted one man and you know kids of the same man that makes yeah that makes sense i wanted to have kids by the same man and um y'all see i'm not with my son's dad anymore so um yeah i don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> you know how some people just love kids and just oh they love to be around kids and oh they just love kids i've never been that type of person my kid is wonderful though i love my son wouldn't trade him for the world oh my god other people kid though i don't know like i don't really like kids so will I have more kids possibly but I don't know and if that day comes I for sure will have to be married answer this when's the last time you and DJ did the nasty we broke up around three years ago um, haven't done anything with that man in about a good year and a half two years am I pregnant girl no <laughs> Another question I'm seeing all the time. Are you and Aki still together? Yes, me and Aki are together um, just because you guys don't see him as often. That's more so on me because after I had my whole little social media relationship, I never wanted another one to be honest. Um, that's why this is the first mans y'all know about is Aki. I have messed with other people in the past um, since me and DJ have been broken up, but I've never brought them to social media. I mean, my close friends be seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never brought them to social media because I never really wanted to have another social media relationship. It's just, it's, it's a lot that goes on to a relationship when you guys are brought into it. Not saying it's so much like a bad thing, but um, personally, I just, I don't know. So I realized that I kind of just brought our relationship out publicly. It was like, stuff was just happening that I couldn't control like all of our videos were going viral like I, I wasn't I didn't plan on that so when everything started happening and then you guys started getting really involved I kind of just wanted to step back a little bit not saying you will never see Ak again um, but it is gonna be kind of like a little slow you know he's gonna be in videos here and there probably I don't I really don't know on my social media you probably won't see him video wise like YouTube you probably will see him because this is my life I show you guys my life so you probably will see him but um more so like Instagram TikTok like you know but that's just why he hasn't been on social media or well, on my social media is because it's just like ah, I kind of stepped back a little bit we talked about it and I kind of just was like let's just slow down with the whole social media um we're fine though that's the mother thing are you and dj still going to be doing videos as of now i don't believe so one being that um we don't live in the same state anymore yeah so we're kind of far from each other are we going to be doing videos in the future i personally don't believe so <laughs> somebody says so sis what happened to mr aki <laughs> <laughs> y'all are so funny I, I literally get that question every day like and it's crazy because it's like just because y'all don't see somebody no more don't mean they just like out of my life completely sometimes that do be the case but sometimes they don't you know which is worst a toxic mother or an absent father I think they're just asking this as a question and I really believe a toxic mother because it's like you know they're in your life a dad you ain't gotta worry about them because they're not there type of thing you know that leads me to my next question what is the relationship with you and your mom I always just don't answer this <laughs> there's not really a relationship honestly I kind of just tend to not answer those type of questions I mean I don't mind speaking about it I don't like speaking about it because it's just gonna be very repetitive and then it's gonna lead to more questions 
cousins and all this other stuff. I feel like I don't really have a mother-daughter relationship with my mom as I would like or I would hope, you know, but I'm just hoping that I can have that mother and kid relationship with my kid, you know, one that I've never had. I've promised myself that me and Layden are gonna be like this and that's what's gonna happen. Are you self-taught with your nails and how long did it take for you to get that good? Okay, so a lot of you guys don't know, but I'ma let you know. Your girl do nails, acrylics, all that great stuff. Um, I'll post some pictures here. Oh, I'm very proud of my work because I am self-taught and I really just started doing them. <laughs> and one thing about me, I don't know if this is my Leo coming out, I really don't care. I'ma brag on myself because I'm very proud. I'm really great at everything I put my mind to. Like, like anything that I want to do it, best believe I'm going to do it and I'm going to do that shit good, okay? Anything, right? Sports-wise, I'm athletic as fuck. Sports-wise, great. Um, if I want to do something and I put my mind to I'm going to do it, I'm going to pull in my 100% and I'm going to be great. Um, so I taught myself how to do nails. One day I literally just woke up and was like, I want to do nails. It seems cool. Um, I could do them on myself um, instead of having to pay someone to do it. And it got to a point where like the nail shops and stuff in Vegas, oh my God, they trash. So I was like, I'm going to do nails. Like, although I do do YouTube um, and social media and stuff, I was like, I kind of want to do something else. <laughs> you know, not stopping this completely, but I do want to put my energy into more than just one thing. So I taught myself how to do nails. I've really only been doing nails, like for real, for real, for a good like four or five months, if that. Probably like three, four months. Um, I am starting to take clients. Um, I did make me a nail page because I had posted me doing my cousin-in-law yeah that's my cousin-in-law my cousin-in-law's nails everyone on my Instagram was like girl do you do this for real or is this just for fun and I was like you know it was just for fun but I'm gonna start doing it for y'all cuz like why not like so if you want to follow my nail page I will leave that down below and also right here it's at late you know late on Instagram so follow me um I do post when I am available to take clients and stuff like that on my story so you know just stay on the lookout for that you know we can hang out chit chat um let me do your nails and all that great stuff so yeah that's a nail question a lot of people have been asking me about nails and stuff so yeah i do do nails um i am starting to take clients for nails so if you want to come get your nails done let me know <laughs> do you ever think that you will actually like girls um i don't believe i would ever actually date a girl you know when you just over man sometimes you just be like i think i'm gonna just date a girl would i actually ever do it i don't think so i like dudes a lot <laughs> What are your thoughts on rekindling old friendships and relationships? Um, honestly, I wouldn't want to. Like, if they ended, it's for a reason. Whether that be a relationship or a friendship. Like, I've had friends that I'm not friends with anymore. It's really just because, you know, we just on two different vibes and two different pages now in life. And it's like, yeah, we were so cool back then. And now, you know, people grow apart whether that be friendship or relationship. Um, rekindling, I feel like if you feel like there's a need to and that's something you want in your heart and you really love that person, then go for it. Um, me personally, I feel like my toxic trait probably is that I can just cut off emotions that fast for someone. So like, if I'm not friends with you anymore, I, there's like a slim chance to none that we will ever be friends again. So, I don't know. Do you stay in Vegas? Yes, honey, I do. <laughs> Where you been? Okay, that's one. Why I don't post anymore? Am I still doing YouTube? Where have I been? Mm, why haven't you posted? So I'm gonna just get into that right now. I mean, I was gonna make a separate video, but I might as well just talk to y'all because all these other questions. I guess I have posted this poll after I posted me doing nails. So a lot of the questions are just, girl, you know how I do nails? I didn't know you do nails. Can you do my nails? Why haven't you been keeping this secret from us? This talent with your nails? Like everybody's just asking me about nails. Told you guys about that. Also, everyone's just asking me about Aki. Told you guys about that. So now let me just speak on um, why I haven't been posting on YouTube. Me, like I always say, I'm very open with you guys. Um, I like to be very genuine because I am a genuine ass 
person. Um, I can't really fake anything. My face will tell you how I feel before my mouth does. <laughs> like I can't come on camera and be fake. I feel like I'm talking really loud because I, oh my God, I was screaming. I've had my AirPod in the whole time. I just feel like I can't come on camera and be fake with you guys. Um, when stuff in my real life is affecting my mental, I cannot grab the camera and act like everything's fine. Um, some of you guys know, a lot of you don't know, but I do deal with anxiety and depression. I have anxiety really, really, really bad. I was severely depressed in the past. Grown out of that a little bit, but you know, like depression, it just comes and goes. It's a wave that you can't really control. So when it comes, it comes. I can't really control it. I just have to be strong enough to let it pass, you know, like mentally. So that's what I've been dealing with recently. That's why I haven't really been posting on any social media, really. Mentally, I've just been going through a lot, y'all. Adult shit, relationship shit with like family, friends, um, stuff like that. Oh, it's been a little stressful. It's been a little stressful. It's been a lot of days where I didn't want to do anything but lay in my bed and watch Netflix. So that's what I do. Um, uh, yeah, your girl has been stressed and depressed, honestly. But you know, I'm better. I'm a lot better. And that's why I can pick up the camera and do this for you guys and actually feel like myself. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe one of these days where I'm going through that, I'll probably pick up the camera so you guys can see real raw, uncut footage of just my mind like i've done that before though in the past like i just pick up the camera and kind of talk to the camera just to like look back at it myself i don't post it it's kind of like i just use this kind of like a diary at this point i don't know i know a lot of you guys out there um our generation really is it's sad but a lot of people deal with depression and anxiety and stuff me i feel like if you deal with it you should talk to someone i try to talk to people i just feel like no one really understands me so i keep it all like kind of inside which doesn't help at all i don't know i wish i did have a person that i can talk to and just understood me completely but you know I'll be okay. I got to here. I'll get through it. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I haven't really been on YouTube. I've been just going through a lot mentally. Um, but I would say right now I feel a lot better. Um, mentally, I'm doing a lot better. I feel like um, once I get in that mindset of I'm about to do something, I'm about to do it. I feel like honestly, me doing my whole little nail stuff and getting back serious and focusing my mind on that has helped me a lot because now all I really want to do all day is just nails. Um, I need to really be like that about YouTube. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it and I will start posting some nail videos and stuff so you guys can see really proud of my progress Because I was looking at a picture of my nails the other day um, From like four months ago and them shits was ugly <laughs> I'm gonna get back on here. I'm gonna get back posting for you guys um, You know a lot of people be telling me I help them a lot in life. So if I do that for you, thank you, honestly, because that means a lot. I'm happy that I can help you guys get through whatever you're getting through. You know, kind of just me be a distraction for you guys. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I am going to get back on here and start making videos and content for you guys. Because like I said, a lot of people tell me that like I really help them get through life and just like distract themselves from like the real world. So for you, I'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, what's good, what's Gucci? Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Um, more lit content coming soon. Um, different kind of content coming soon. Just be, this is, I'ma just use this. Like, first I was trying to keep up with the trends and stuff on YouTube. Uh, it's not for me. <laughs> not for me. I did it for the past five years. Not for me. I kind of just want to bring like a fresh new like, old YouTube vibe back honestly and let you guys in on my life because I feel like once you do that you're a little more relatable to a lot more people the genuine relationship that we can build with each other um, so yeah you guys will see a lot more of my life a lot more of the things I like to do in my life a lot of more people in my life yeah I'm gonna let you guys go because my camera's getting hot it's 105 degrees out here I'm sitting in my car sorry if it was loud the whole video I'll try to amp my voice up a little bit um yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, yes! Bye.